when, um, when you were in foreign parts, your dear father suffered a loss, unusual even for him. What? Well, I don't know the details, but apparently he lost half the share in the factory in a game of poker. Apparently... Just a minute, the Peter never lost. <clears throat> By default, sir. He had six cars in his hand instead of five. Ghastly. In court, I mean. Well, who won? A Mr. Chester Schofield, sir, from Detroit. And uh, a bit of a nuisance. He's practically taken over the whole wax, trying to inject American know-how. What do you mean, he's here now? Oh, yes. He's been here for six months. Works day and night, night and day, and doesn't take a penny in salary. Well, as long as he's increasing the profits. There aren't going to be any profits this year, sir. What? Mr. Schofield's policy is one of expansion. He's invested every penny we've got in new plant, and he's raised all salaries. So. Now, if you please, he's engaged in redesigning the Nifty Nine. It looks as though I've arrived in the nick of time. Where is this blighter now? Well, now, he'll be in here, sir. Come on. What's that, row? That's another of the Yankees' ideas, sir. Music while you work, not worth a meal. Come on. Damn silly idea. Never catch on. Just a minute. Who's been having a picnic off Dad's Nifty Nine? Sorry, Dad. Won't happen again. Hi, Perky. Who's the grease ball? <clears throat> Cuthbert Mayor Armitage, Baroness, which means you call me Sir. Well, it's certainly a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Sir Cuddy, Sir. Put it back. <laughs> what? Schoolboy buzzer. Outrageous. Perkins, this is my partner. I'm afraid so, yes, sir. May I introduce Mr. Chester Schofield, the second? The second? Neither are two of them. Oh, come here, Cuddy, baby. Come here. Oh, let me show you something. Relax, will you? Take a look at that baby. Isn't she beautiful? We're going to call it the Triple S. We're really going places, you and I. Zowie, as to the workhouse. Perkins, do we have to have this bloody row? What's the matter, sweetheart? Don't you like it? I'll fix it. No self-respecting Englishman would be seen dead in that monstrosity. I mean, it doesn't even look like a motor car. It looks more like a, an upholstered roller skate. It's the first and the last we made. Perkins, see to it. Um, uh, uh. Oh! Keep your throttle open, partner. We're 50-50, remember? Yes, and my 50% says he's got to stop and see to it, Perkins. Yes, perhaps Mr. Stover would like to sell you back his shares. Hmm. Sure. For a cool half a million simoleons. Now, if you haven't got that kind of mazuma, how... I'll tell you what. Pick a card. Any card oh, you like. Oh, oh. It makes no difference. Go ahead, pick a card. Any card you like, huh? Uh, Queen of Spades, right? Right, you are. <laughs> That's this one, baby. Ace of Hearts. It's gone. <laughs> Tell you what we're going to do, you and I. Why don't we play one hand of poker? Five card stud. Winner, take all. Oh, play cards with you? I'd rather play with my old father. Okay, Tin Horn, it's all the same to me. Fifty-fifty. I'm going to get out of this nightmare. Again. Are we too late to enter for the Monte Carlo rally this year? No, sir, but we've always thought it wiser to stay out. Why? Well, since your uh, father was requested to return the trophy. Yes, he was a bit careless that year, wasn't it? So nothing to do with me. I say, Schofield, old being, I uh, think I've thought of a way in which we can find out which is the best man and the best machine for the welfare of this firm. We'll both enter for the Monte, you drive the roller skate, and I'll drive the Nifty Nine. The winner takes all. Fair enough? Um, what is this, uh, Marty? Uh, some kind of a race? Uh, no, it isn't a race. It's more of an endurance test. Run under strict rules. Fifteen hundred miles. On the most diabolical of roads. In the most inclement weather. In Europe. And finishing in a month. In a carnival. By the did it did. Yes! Yes! Well, Schofield, are you man enough to take me on? Sure, but uh, are you Cuddy Baby? I certainly am. And so is Perkins. Me? Well, you'd like a nice trip to La Belle France, wouldn't you, Perkins? Yes, if I can get permission from Mrs. Perkins. Oh, you leave her to me. I wish I could. Well, Schofield, is it a deal? It's a deal, Mac Deal. <laughs> Zoe? Do you think he's got a chance, sir? Against a Armitage? 
Don't be very ridiculous. <laughs>